Nigerians need to know is that in that certificate, because it's ceremonial, you even have the right to redesign it to your own taste. That is the truth. What is important is the transcript. Redesign it to your own taste. Absolutely. 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 You can Google it. It's out there. They advertise it out there in the U.S. If you have lost your certificate, we can get it back for you. Uncle and the law, why are you trying to confuse people? Mix lies with the truth. Hmm. They found a replacement for Festus Kiyamu, or they replaced the Festus Kiyamu with another person. This is exactly how Kiyamu behaves in trying to defend Tinubu. The same uh, Kiyamu told us that, uh, oh, in those days, you know, Tinubu could not go to school because of uh, finance and what have you. So he did his... Uh, he said that is how they do you know this if you, you can get your certificates you can get your primary and secondary whatever you can do it at home and all of that but he was able to dodge that oh whether Tinubu really did that at home that he didn't go to school but he had to do his own lessons and what have you and he just went to go and write his exam but he didn't come out specifically but he said oh it is possible for somebody not to go to primary and secondary school in a known place then you just quickly go to higher institution or go and write exam and that's it is it was so brilliant and that and all those uh crabs and this is why this one is not shining his eyes too that you can just go there and do what and just you, you can design it the way you want. Ah, it's a lie. These people are something else. But thank God that the uh, internet is just there available. Unlike in 1999 when Tinubu was getting away with all those things. Oh, Ganifa Emi fought and fought and fought. But the Nigerian system could not really, the Nigerian judiciary could not really help out so that the man's uh, efforts could have been, you know, uh, be well observed. But now people are praising the late uh, Ganifa Emi for the good job that he did. And we know that uh, at this time, these guys are still going to do the same because they have been painting the narratives now that uh, the only thing that they want to talk about is that, uh, oh, he attended the school and that is it. And this and that. Trying to forget, uh, you know, trying to shut every other person up, not to say the real thing. But it's not going to work. This is uh, 2023. It, uh, 23 or 20 something years after. They think they can get away with it. They can't get away with it, too. Honestly speaking, they cannot get away with it. All of them have been coming out to defend. And when you see this, just look at this woman. Just like look at the way she was looking at him. Say, really? So you can design, you can design your own uh, certificates. Wow. Wow. -woo. These guys are just lying with both And they are young people. Oh. That's it to tell you that. Say, wow. Yes, we can do this. If Tinubu could do this in, in his days. And we are here to defend him. Definitely. Hmm. Will do more, so they are creating a lot of a loop of for themselves or a lot of avenue for themselves. That even when it gets to their own turn, they will be able to do worse. All these ones might not even be maybe in terms of a they want to uh, defraud the country in terms of a their certificate, but when it comes to the financial aspect of it, they will know how to cover it. The best thing who is going to judge the case is it not the judge, judiciary? Uh -huh. By the time they said to the judiciary, nothing will happen, and you can imagine the CGN who has stylishly come as. Because all in the name of uh, trying to advise the new appointees of uh, the judicial council, saying that uh, oh the public opinion, opinions does not uh, do not matter that it is what the loss is. And when it comes to the what the loss is, they will begin to use technicalities that you can print your you can design this in hypothetically. Um, uh, uh, yes, I I made a post yesterday concerning what this man said, but this is the video you can all see it. This is not that uh, somebody is making it up. See this woman, like I said. I said that, wow. So people are so bold. And when you see them so aggressive, you know that they are lying. This is exactly how Kiyamu behaves. How he does, how he, try, he tries. Even the other one. I don't even know whether this, this other man is even with this one that is just uh, trying to express himself in an aggressive manner. Whether they are from the same party or they are defending the same thing. That one was just even smiling. Huh? Say this one, eh? Nari Ogbo Logbo. Nari Ogbo Logbo. Eh. What are you talking about? What's this, this man saying? And some people are saying they are expecting Tinubu to come and, you know, release a press statement. Let him come and address this. And that was the reason why this man was dodging it. Eh? I don't say there's something wrong with this man. Not that eh, maybe he does not have, he didn't have stamina to, 
to go for the interview, the debate, the presidential debate. But because he knew quite well that a lot of questions would be thrown at him, he would not be able to answer it. He said, with a team she work. Now that Nigerians are expecting him to come and express and tell Nigerians what and what he knows. Of course, they will say he's the president. He has the people that will speak for him. And this is one of them. Mm. This one said, don't say that again. Don't say that again. You are lying to our faces and you are telling us Konkabu stories. Ah, if not because of the U.S. court, eh? oh my God. This sort of thing would have been buried down. But people just know that there's something wrong somewhere. Something is really, really wrong somewhere. What is happening? Something is wrong somewhere. But how do we get to the truth? Even at that, Nigerians are still trying to say, oh, this thing really happened. This thing really happened. But they don't want to accept that. Mm -hmm. the, these guys are not just giving up. The same, one of the defenders of Tinubu said, oh, the bullion van just mistakenly enter into his house. Enter into his house because they could not, they don't have a, a genuine, a, a genuine argument to counter all that have been said, all the allegations that have been said. He said, "Oh, the William Van mistakenly entered Tinubu's house. Not that uh, this is that they missed their rules. Ha! People say, really, but that was not the narrative for more than how many years? But this one came. They want to change the narrative, but it just didn't. You know, and I've been asking this question. I have been." Going through all these things happening, Tinubu, I've not seen or I've not heard where Tinubu has even made his assets, you know, declared his assets. He has not even done that. And we're busy with other things. Huh. I said it from the beginning that what is this for me with this Tinubu's case is the baggages that this man carries. Though, and he's, he's telling on everybody. He's telling on everybody. And a lot of people are just keeping quiet. Some people are waiting for the, they are waiting for the NAF, National Assembly to come and impeach him <laughs> with Akwabio, with uh, was, all of them. Are they? Mm. All this like Bajabi and Milan, the wiki, oh my God. All of them are keeping quiet. And again, this is uh, Oshomale, we have not even heard from him. All oh, those who are always defending. Of course, I know he's trying to, he's trying to formulate what is coming to tell Nigerians. Mm. I'm sure if not that uh, Kayamu is busy with uh, his ministerial work, oh, he will be the one to be moving from one TV station to handle that. So go, go, go and tell them. Go and tell them. Ah, Tinubu know the shame. First, you know the shame to old age. To old age. And they are trying to sue, or they are trying to, to uh, gaslight uh, Dede Faro TV that he calls... Tinubu, a career criminal. Now, for your matter, yes, yes, so this person is a career criminal. So, guys, let's say your opinion and have your take on this. Thank you.